Street Fighter 6 will have more content coming to World Tour and Battle Hub post Street Fighter 6's initial release. In-game events are some of the things that we could expect, but what kind of event? Today I want to talk about the four possible World Tour events that could happen in Street Fighter 6. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Vikings and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! Resident Evil collabs and this is something new for Capcom, but this would easily be one of Capcom's best RE collabs yet. Metro City would fit perfectly as Raccoon City, replacing the Boxhead Gang and the loving Metro City locals with flesh-eating T-Virus zombies, dogs, and liquors. In terms of character-created clothing items, there's a plethora of things we could get such as Leon's signature RE4 jacket, Hunk's famous and creepy gas mask with the Black Ops uniform included, Ada's dress, and Claire's signature red jacket. For character-specific skins, I think Luke would make a perfect Leon, Chun-Li would make a sick Ada Wong, Cammy returning as the classic and popular Jill Valentine, and JP could easily be the menacing Betortis Mendez from RE4. The Little Blue Bomber has had his fair share of collabs and crossovers. From DMC5 to Smash Brothers, he's done it all. But this wouldn't be the first time that Mega Man and Street Fighter collabed in some way. Metro City is a tad bit dated compared to the futuristic worlds of Mega Man, so it'd be interesting to see what changes they would make to a world tour. Character created avatars would get some of Mega Man's signature weapons as moves, such as the classic Mega Buster, Zero's Plasma Blade, and a ton more. Bringing back Mega Man skins would be on the list, but for different characters this time. Fireman, Burnman for Ken, Gutsman as Zangief, and those are just a few possible godlike skins that we could get. Capcom's best-selling multiplayer hunting adventure and Street Fighter VI have a lot in common and would work perfectly if the worlds of these two games collided. Both Monster Hunter and Street Fighter have done crossovers before, so this wouldn't feel too unfamiliar. A bunch of monsters roaming the streets of Metro City and it's up to you and your handler to hunt these monsters down. And of course, it wouldn't be Monster Hunter if you weren't compensated for your work. Honestly, the only issue I can see coming from this event is which Monster Hunter game would they use to cross over with? Monster Hunter World or Monster Hunter Rise? In terms of character created items, we could get the base hunter fit from Rise and some lower ranked monster skins. The master rank and more well known monsters could go to the roster, such as Gore Magala, bring back the Rathalo skin for Ken, the premier monster from Monster Hunter Rise, and a bunch more. Of all the events on this list, this easily has the highest possibility of happening. It's always been touch and go on whether or not Rival Schools is part of the Street Fighter universe, but I think Capcom fully solidified it with Akira showing up in the final season of Street Fighter V. Rival Schools is set in the Japanese city of Oharu City, so this could easily either be adapted to Metro City or given its own hub world under Japan. It's very likely that we'll get a Rival School character as DLC, most likely Akira or Basu or both. So character created avatars will automatically have access to the move list of whoever we get. Capcom also did a Street Fighter V school themed event so they could bring most of those skins from that event back to Street Fighter VI, especially since they fit the theme of rival schools. And that is a wrap fellas. Let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite and whether if you agree or disagree. Is there a game crossover I'm missing? Like always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I swear I will love you forever. Stay safe, peace, and love.